Good morning, beautiful community of Radiant Femmes, Beacons and followers. Rebecca Thompson here on this delightful Wednesday morning. Yes, with a beautiful slash on my head. Very attractive, isn't it? It's actually healing incredibly well. I smacked my head on the end of a piece of wood sticking out of um, a little mini skip that we have out the front of our house at the moment because we're just coming to the end of a mini renovation in my clinic and healing meditation space. Very exciting. So that's, uh, yes, dealt with the elephant in the room. And today I want to talk about if you want to be that next level self, you need to get out ahead and start being that next level self. I've just done a training with our beautiful Beacon community and this just, I do a, a training where I really just drop into my soul self and have a rant about whatever my soul is wanting to be seen and heard around that, that day for our community. And this really struck home as, I, as it was sort of coming out of my mouth that I wanted to share with you because there's a tendency with us humans to wait until, right? We wait until the money is there. We wait until we have time. We wait until things are perfect. We wait until I've got it together, until I do A, B, C, D. And you know what I have learned? Is that unless you start getting out ahead and trusting your capacity as this next level version of you, then you will still be waiting for the untils and you won't get this shit done because you'll put off. It's not perfect yet. I don't have enough time yet. I'm not good enough yet. I don't have enough space yet. You have to get out ahead. And if you literally don't have the time, the money, the whatever, you have to envision that you are that person and carve out time, whether it is even five minutes in your day, everyone has the capacity to carve out five minutes in your day. I would battle to say that everyone has the capacity to carve out half an hour in their day easily at some point, even if you break it up into three 10 minute chunks to envision the next level you. What does this next level you look like? If you're wanting to create change, what does this next level you woman look like? It's really the essence of who you are. All we are doing is peeling back layers that you think you are, um, of what you don't think you are, right? The old limiting beliefs. But if this next woman level, you woman has more freedom in her life, has more abundance, has, has more self-worth, gets things done more quickly, then envision that. Journal about that. As this next level um, woman, I show up as this. I do this. This comes to me. And power on in that journaling speed riding coming from soul self because your soul self has infinite capacity your soul self is the highest version of you and is already that you are just not may maybe resonating quite at that point yet because you're still having some limited um, beliefs and embodied limitations in your physicalness in your mental in your energetic showing up in your environment and if we resonate with that level of what we're seeing as what we feel is our reality, then we are never going to get out ahead, right? So you have to carve out times in your day where you cultivate the feeling and the energy of that next level you in a way that you can truly receive. We are not talking about just putting the positive spin sticky plaster on it. But we are talking about as this next level version of me, I this, I that, I am getting better at, right? And as you feel the energy of that, what does it feel like to be a woman who has X amount of space in her life, who has X amount of prosperity, who has the certain type of relationships that you want to bring into your life that is showing up in the way that you want to show up? How does it feel to be that? If you can feel that and hold that in your energy, you can create it. You're already starting to create it. And then just the collaborative components that are in the physical realm a little bit slower, they will slowly start to work um, with you to create that in your reality. But if you keep looking at your world and going, oh, I'll do this when, I'll do that when, it's going to take a long time to catch up to you because you aren't actually resonating at that vibration that you want to be at. You are allowing your environment and the people around you to entrain you to a lower vibration of that which you are seeing in the world around you as opposed to that which you are. And 
this is the issue with people not being able to move forward in the path. You are allowing your external environment that you are seeing or you are choosing to put attention on and the people around you to lower your vibration as opposed to staying sovereign to your own energy. And there are such simple ways to tune into that higher vibration. What is one way that we see all around us whoops, that you have the capacity to tune into the highest vibration? It is nature. Now, I have the, the blessing of being at the ocean. You may not have that, but everyone has a tree nearby them. Everyone has a beautiful um, plant somewhere in their vicinity, even if it's in your neighborhood, that you can resonate with the magnificence of creation. And you are that. So you need to align to vibrations that are resonating at the level of which you want to vibrate and stop giving your attention to the things that aren't where you want to be and what your soul self is. Yeah. So good. And if you need some tools around that, if you're like, that all sounds good, but how do I do that? Well, you've got journaling, you've got mantra, you've got connecting in with nature, you've got mindfulness, even music to shift your vibration into that next level self. The more you create space and time to do that, the more your life is going to start reflecting that. And if you need more guidance, if you need more embodied tools around that, that is my genius zone of how to live from this space, from an embodied feminine, so that you do create your own reality. And this has been my world now for at least 10 years. And it is constantly evolving, but I am at a place that I wanted to be at five, 10 years ago. I'm beyond my wildest dreams then. I'm creating now new visions, new realities for my future. And I don't need to know, but I know how that feels. Right, And I'm consistently putting myself out ahead and my relationships and my prosperity and my joy, my peace, my vitality are all at the highest ever. Right, I know I can, can achieve that for you too if you have the willingness. So do reach out for, to me. We have different ways that you can tune into this work in the Beacon community um, that I yeah, share all this goodness in and we hold this space for each other. All right, beautiful souls, have an amazing day and the rest of your week. You are that. Lots of love.